Hi my lovely Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Please have a seat and let's relax and have fun with me. All right. So to light up your mood, I'm going to be a reindeer for the next 5 months. After 5 5 months for the next 5 minutes. And I will take it off, take these glasses off after five minutes. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's begin. Oh my gosh. So uncomfortable with this on. So if you don't like, if you don't like to see me, just click off. It's your choice, my lovely Taurus. I, I'm not drunk. Okay. So, you know, it's December and the Christmas is coming. And my birthday is coming too, so I just want to make a festival or holiday atmosphere myself. So I just get this from HM. Cheap. All right. What do we have for you? The first one is, say, what do you mean, Taurus? Say, what do you mean? Okay. There, look at this facial expression. They are very self-centered. <laughs> they don't say what they truly want to say to each other, right? They were like, oh, should I say that or should I say not? So, miscommunication. Maybe there's something, some trouble, some hectic situation that you are dealing with. Maybe because of the miscommunication. Maybe because you never express what you truly mean, what you never what you truly authentically feel about somebody, for example, you never showed your true emotion or intention. That's why things are not going to the way that you expect it to. Okay? So, Taurus, the universe, and then just that. Please take off the mask and say what you mean. Say what you mean, right? Take off the mask. Okay. I'm not going to take off this mask. All right, so let's ask another deck. Okay, all right. For our lovely Taurus, what, we need, what do we need to know for our lovely Taurus for the next 48 hours? Thank you. Leadership. Set your goals. Leadership. My lovely Taurus, leadership is needed right now. To be a leader in your life, you should set your goal, okay? You should set your goal first, and then you have to take action. But a lot of me, including a lot of people, including myself, we set goals. We always dream about a certain thing, but we never, ever take action. We used to say, oh, I will do it tomorrow. I will do it next year. I will do it after I lose weight. I will do it after I buy a house. Something like that. No. Never, never procrastinate. Whatever you are dreaming of right now, set the goal and take action. That's the advice from the universe. All right. And then we're going to ask the Shamanic Healing deck. Okay. I'm going to wear one over one more mi minute and I'm going to take them off. Charmantic Healing Deck, please show us what do we need to know about Taurus, Taurus, general life. <sighs> I cannot breathe because of these nose things. Okay, am I cute? Oh, no. No, no. You're not watching me, right? You're just listening to this. <laughs> One minute. Okay. All right. What do you have? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, you have... Emotional release, my lovely Taurus. Emotional release. Before Christmas comes, before New Year's Eve comes, my lovely Taurus, you should erase any negativity. You should get rid of any negative energy that's staying around you, right? Staying around you and staying with you. Any negativity should be away from you. So that you can embrace new future, new brighter, abundant life. No matter what happened in the past, no matter what happened in 2020, whether you are, uh, whether maybe like a family, family dynamic from the family dynamic, there were there must be some conflict, right? Where maybe there was some job 
conflict, job transition. Maybe you're fired. Maybe you quit your job. Something happened, right? Or maybe somebody from your family members、uh, a little bit, you know, nagging about your certain situation. For example, if you are single, some of your parents will say, "Oh, when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna settle down?" I know, I feel you, Taurus. Oh, by the way, I should take them off. It's over five minutes. Okay. All right. So you should get rid of just like I did. After five minutes, I just didn't even think further. I just take them off, right? The ugly, cute reindeer glasses. Bye. Negative energy. If you ever have, you should say goodbye to it. Release. Okay. Emotional release. If you want to cry out, cry it out. If you want to be in that kind of self pity party mode, do so. How many hours? I don't know. How long? As as long as you want. In my case, when I was depressed, I cried a lot. I watched sad movies and I cried a lot. Yeah, intentional, inten, subconscious, unconsciously, or、uh, consciously. I don't know. I watched a lot of sad movies. I, I listened to sad songs, and by doing so, I cried a lot. I shed tears a lot, and after that, I felt much better. So, Taurus, if you are in that kind of similar emotional state right now, why don't you do it? Okay, my lovely Taurus, and I'm gonna ask the. Angel, answer that. Okay, angels, please show us what do we need to know for our lovely Taurus. Okay, thank you.、Mm. Meditation brings answers. No matter what situation, no matter what problem you are seeking right now, no matter what answer you are seeking right now at the moment, maybe because of your uh, what is it? Because your mind is not in peace, the answer to any problem cannot come to you right now. So in that case, why don't you go outside to take a take a take take deep breaths, take fresh air under the sun, enjoy the sunshine, and also when you come back home, do some yoga and listen to music, or if you have bathtub, do some hot bathtub. Relax, relax your mind, relax your body, mind, and soul, and meditate. If you meditate, you can listen to your inner voice clearly, right? And then naturally, any problem, any answer to the problem will naturally show up. So that's the advice from the angel and universe. Okay, and let's move on to the fun part. It was too heavy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose two color. What's gonna be your lucky color for the next forty-eight hours? I'm gonna close my eyes like this. Okay, Angel, please choose two lucky colors for our lovely Taurus. Okay, thank you, Taurus. Your lucky color for the next forty-eight hours are silver, gray, and purple. Okay, so if you have any. Fashion item or anything in color silver or gray or purple. Why don't you wear them? Okay, it will give you more love, and peace of your mind, and it will、uh, attract more love eventually. So let's move on to the love life part. What's gonna happen to you, my lovely Taurus? Who's coming to you? What's going on in regard to Taurus life? What's going on? One, the bottom of the deck, two. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Taurus, are you ready to hear this? <sighs> I should take a deep breath. Okay. The first card is wedding. The first card is wedding. I see him a lot recently, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my gosh, he looks like a. What is this Ch- Chandler from the sitcom Friends? Yeah, yeah, the facial. Look at this. Yeah, he looks similar to him, right? Anyway, this situation involves marriage. So, Taurus, 
No matter who you are dealing with right now, whether you are physically together or not, he or she will be in a commitment with you in no time. Or maybe you are married. I don't know. But I feel like that if you are single, your soulmate will definitely, or somebody that you have just started to date with, is going to get to the level of wedding get to the higher level of marriage okay so keep in mind that all right but um the only thing is this one let go of control issue you have to let go of control issue allow the situation unfold allow the situation to unfold naturally mm -hmm. as soon as you see this wedding card you say oh my gosh can i really is he gonna propose me or if you're a man, is it okay for me to say, If is it okay for me to say I love you? Well, it depends on your, on your situation and it also, of course, depends on the level of dating stage, you know. If you are dating like one or two times after watching this video, you will think, oh, I'm going to get married to him or her, so I'm going to propose him. No, 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 no. Never, never, ever do that. Because the universe is suggesting you to wait and see until the whole situation grow, blossom into beautiful flower, and eventually things will turn out to be wonderful, wonderful outcome marriage all right i don't even have to go in detail about this love story my lovely taurus taurus okay what do we need to know about this love story angels what's going on with taurus love life keep on open mind okay my lovely taurus keep on open mind your soulmate your soulmate who's gonna get married to you may differ from your usual type and expectations be open-minded maybe okay so your soulmate may be different maybe from different countries different ethnicity different background different style fashion style different body shape okay so if you are for example on online dating scene you can you can choose I don't know. I don't know recently. I never did that Tinder thing recently, but according to the Tinder, as far as I know, you can choose, you can decide the certain area, I mean, certain country, right? So if you are drawn to, for example, a certain country, why don't you do it? Okay. Uh, broaden your criteria of your dating lives. Okay. All right. All right, my lovely Taurus, what's going to happen to you? What's coming to you? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Make the effort. If your mind says yes, if your heart is fluttering when you think of him or th when you think of her, make the romantic gesture, my lovely Taurus. If you never show your truth, truthful, truthful, authentic side of your heart, how he or she will read your mind? They are not magicians. They are not witches. They are not witches. They cannot read your mind if you never give the hint. Okay, but Taurus, another card is codependency. So I feel like that. You are maybe some of you, my lovely Taurus. Your energy is still lingering in the past. Past heavy short thing. If you are alcoholic, maybe you still drink a lot. That affect your love life. And if you are living together with your current partner, even though the love is dead. Even though the love between you guys were already dead long before, you're still staying together for the what is it? For the comfort of you guys, or because of a heavy trade thing, or to pay the bills together, to share the bill together. All right. So if you are in that kind of codependence, codependence, codependent situationship, say goodbye to that. 
make an effort to find a way to go out to split if the karmic situation the karmic partner is still lingering with you please make the effort make the effort to say goodbye to it because your soulmate is coming your way i can feel them i love it taurus thank you angels two cards <clears throat> unrequited love unrequited love comes after this card called dependency so i just told you the love between you and your ex-partner or the love between you and your roommate or somebody you live together right now is gone there is no love left right the love is dead already but you just in your mind you're just denying the fact that the love is dead i don't know why Taurus, please wake up. Your soulmate is coming to you. Stay optimistic about your love life. You think that there is no true soulmate in the world waiting for you? There is nobody coming to your life? If you think that way, you will always, always stay in the current situation. My lovely Taurus. Please open your heart and be flexible and be open-minded. Your soulmate is coming your way. Please stay optimistic. <sighs> okay all right the last card for today's romantic love message for our love for our taurus is this one separation okay so at the moment you're separated with your true soulmate my lovely taurus i'm sorry to say but it's true the uh, universe angel says you are physically separated with your soulmate right now. Maybe you have never met him in person yet. Never met her. Or you never met him in person. You never made eye contact with each other in 3D. But you, you are energetically, you are telepathically communicating with him or with her right now. Because he or she is doing the same thing. He or she is yearning for you. But because of the circumstances that we are facing at right now, there is a physical distance between you guys. But eventually, you guys will love, will fall in love, will fall in love, and will be crazy about each other. And eventually, someday soon, you're gonna get tied or not. You're gonna get married to each other. I can feel that. So, my lovely Taurus, I hope you stay positive about your life, about your love life. Okay, the bottom of the deck is engagement. Okay, so the double confirmation today. I got goosebumps all over my body right now. You have engagement card and wedding card. Oh my gosh, Taurus. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, can you see that? Your love, your love life is going to a higher level of commitment. So, even though you're physically separated with your soulmate right now, stay positive because in no time, you're gonna get married to him. If if it's not about the marriage, you're gonna get married. You're gonna get to know each other, and you're gonna build the connection. Okay, okay. I will. I will be patient too. So you be you be patient to my lovely Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading and. I'll be back with another reading. Until then, have a wonderful day, wherever you are. I'll be back. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.